take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. A pair of light or sound waves will experience interference when they pass through each other. Constructive interference occurs when the maxima of two waves add together. The two waves are in phase, so that the amplitude of the resulting wave is equal to the sum of the individual amplitudes. Take our lead. Constructive interference occurs where the lines, representing peaks, cross over each other. In other words, when two waves are in phase, they interfere constructively. Destructive interference occurs where two waves are completely out of phase. A peak lies at the midpoint of two waves. Let's help you make your mark. The condition for constructive interference is that the phase difference between the two waves should be an even integral multiple of pi or 1800. For destructive interference, the phase difference between the two waves is an odd integral multiple of pi or 1800. Make your mark, take our lead. Real-life examples of constructive interference in tuning fork for tuning piano, player uses a tuning fork. Tuning fork is an instrument that produces single frequency wave. The piano player strikes both tuning fork and a key on piano simultaneously. At this time, two waves are produced. Make your mark, take our lead. With constructive interference, two waves with the same frequency and amplitude line up. The peaks line up with peaks and troughs with troughs as in diagramma above. The result is a wave that has twice the amplitude of the original waves so the sound wave will be twice as loud. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.